dealership in, in Bournemouth and um, I've always aspired to Chris Walker and what a fantastic rider he's been for Kawasaki over the years and you know he, he made the ZX7 into the race bike that it is or was and uh, what, what a superb time that was. Um, but in 1998 I opened a new Kawasaki shop and um, I, I phoned Kawasaki UK and I said look I could really do with somebody coming to open this shop for me and uh, one of the, I forget who was actually sort of running the show there, Jeff Salvage or somebody said to me, okay, we'll, we'll send the Superbike team down and uh, we opened up and in they came and there was Colin Wright, who was the team manager that we all know. Uh, there was uh, a, a young Scots guy that we could hardly understand called Ian McPherson, uh, who flew down to Bournemouth from Glasgow or somewhere. And then we had Chris Walker there as well and uh, what, what, a, what a fantastic guy and day that we had there. We, the, the crowds flocked in to see Chris. Uh, I think I think they were there all day, and you know the, I think they were just completely uh, spoken out by the end of the day. I think everybody was trying, everybody wanted to speak to Chris and get his autograph, and you know I, I think that is still the case now. And you know we've moved on a little bit since '98. We're a few years further on. We're all a little bit older, and uh, you know when when I read that he is the fans' favourite, I think he is the fans' favourite. You know I've walked through the paddocks over the few years and. You know, when Chris has come back from World Superbike and we've seen the stalker flags and the stalker fans and, you know, it, it really is fantastic and, you know, what, what, whatever, you know, Chris has got in him to keep going how he keeps going, I, I, I do not know, I struggle to get up some morning, so for him to get up and, you know, do his training, he's got his motocross, he's got his race school at Mallory, which all you guys can go along to, and, you know, he, he is doing so much for the sport and so much for Kawasaki and, you know, one of the... One of the great things of, of, of having Chris on the superbike is his connection with Kawasaki, and obviously our connection with Kawasaki is very strong with the dealerships. So, you know, it's great, and I, I think you're quite happy to be back on Kawasaki, aren't you, Chris? I am, yeah, it was a bit of a roller coaster over the winter, to say the least. Um, but absolutely fantastic to be back out on the grid in 2012, especially with the new rules as they are, and all the big fantastic names coming from the world scene. I mean, to have Hager in the championship is massive, I think, for everybody. Um, and some of the machinery that's come over to is extra special. So we've got some great new names in the, in the championship this year, some great machinery as always. And obviously for me, it was um, I've not had the luxury of riding the same manufacturer bike year on year for probably about five years now. I rode for a couple of teams that raced um, um, GSC and then they decided to quit. So I ended up having to change machinery. I rode for Petronas, they quit at the end of that year, so I had to change machinery. So to be back on a Kawasaki again and to be back on the same bike as I raced last year is a real luxury, you know, you've not got quite the same learning curve as I've had the last few years. I know the team around me, Chunty and Adam, a brilliant race stringer, he was there for us last year, we did an exceptional job behind the scenes on the motors and the electronics of the bike. And of course, the bike itself speaks for itself, I think they, as a, as a base machine, the Kawasaki with the new rules is really one of the bikes to be sat on. I think there's going to be more Kawasaki's on the grid than any other bike this year, which is a, which is a bit special in itself. It's not something that's happened for a few years since the ZX7. And, uh, and obviously, when Pete called me up and asked me to to uh, on the Primo leathers again and get back out there with this team, it was it was uh, a no-brainer. I wanted to do it all winter and to finally, you know, be able to put it together and see the bikes here today, paint and stuff. It is extra, extra special. I'm a, I'm a lucky lad. I've had a great time out of the sport and uh, to still be racing. I think I've had over 200 British Superbike races now. And they always stand the grid and 40 just before the season starts. It's a big year for me. And uh, thank you guys for being here today, for showing support. And, uh, and what you've done over the years has been brilliant with me and give um, Pete and the guys in the team the support this year. They're going to do a great job. One of the most professional teams, you know, so far that I've experienced in, in the last few years of my career. And uh, no, happy times ahead. Can't wait to get my leg over. <laughs>
And the pathway's always dirty. All the grass is overgrown, something ain't right.